I was accompanying my chairperson of the civic organization to a workshop in 1991. Jokin was asking us, what is it that we want? And said, so, no, we don't want anything because our government is giving us everything. Then he said, we as the Indians, we voted for our government after 40 years from being decolonized. Nothing came to us as the poor because we expected honey and milk to flow on the street. What we got at the end of the day was 800 people sharing one toilet. We went there for 20 days to experience how poor people are coming together. You know, it was so interesting, interesting to see women who are not educated, who can read and write, but using savings as a tool to mobilize themselves to an extent that they knew how to manage their own money and their own money made sure that they know how to speak to their own government. I remember my first meeting in my community. Out of 500 people who attended the meeting, only 11 women agreed to follow me and want to understand more. We ended up having 350 members in my savings scheme. And then we, we became strong and strong, expanded in other settlements. A house, sanitation, water, electricity, those are the major issues that if we come together, we can achieve them easy than if I fight for it alone.